Dr. Zaja Osmanov. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, Doctor, you work in astrobiology, among other fields. And within astrobiology, years ago, decades ago, the mathematician, very famous mathematician, John von Neumann, came up with the idea of self-replicating probes, essentially mimicking how life itself, you know, microbial life itself reproduces and self-reproduces. And the idea was that it could be done technologically. Now, in the case of the von Neumann probe, we have the very special possibility that with such a shelf replicator, they could be in every star system in the galaxy at sub-relativistic speeds in short order. Over a few million years, you could populate the entire galaxy with such probes. If that is the case, how do we begin looking for them just in case there might be one in this star system? Well, there are several parts we have to understand. Uh, first is, uh, if we are talking about standard von Neumann probes, which von Neumann has, was uh, talking about, I'm actually not talking about this particular you know, kind of von Neumann probes, but some kind of, in my paper, I actually extended the idea of von Neumann. I propose that if ETs exist, okay, if they are technologically advanced enough, then, you know, the major question is, what is the most rapid case for colonizing the, you know, some, spe some certain part of Milky Way or space? As it turned out, the best way is to use uh, not just, you know, standard big length scale probes, but microprobes. It turned out that actually if microprobes, very small length scale probes exist, of course, and in any case, I have to say that if they exist, because we don't know, we have no data about uh, about ETS if they exist. But we have to we have to say always that if they exist, if they have enough technology, uh, level of technology, then the best way is to is to colonize the universe for by 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 using microprobes, because the time scale of colonizing is very short in case of small scale small length scale self -rep replicators but it depends on you know on several f factors in my calculations actually i i've shown that depending on uh, on parameters on particular parameters of of nebulae for example of a particular place in uh, in in milky way let's uh, let's talk about milky way because it's not very it's it's quite typical for us and in in milky way we can find a lot of different kinds of nebula or some diffusive hydrogen nebula case, uh, you know, uh, stuff. And depending on that, uh, depending on substance, depending on density, temperature, on, on many parameters, this very small scale self replicators, they will be different depending on, on these parameters. For example, I've shown that if the extraterrestrial intelligence has to colonize typical you know, one astronomical unit length scale nebula, the scale of the probe has to be approximately about micrometer, which is very small, of course. And compared to what von Neumann was talking about, it's much, much small, <laughs> smaller. Yeah. With this, the size, this almost nanotechnological size of these self-replicators, that would make self-replication more efficient, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, uh, it becomes more efficient. I mean, more, more efficient in the sense of time scale. Of, of colonizing the you know uh, the nebula or or whatever can they function you know if you look at, at classical views of nanotechnology at least projecting them into the future could they work in you know a concerted effort in other words could the von neumann probe look more like a cloud than an actual singular object so in other words would you send say for your task of exploration of a star system would you send a whole bunch of them to self-replicate and create a big cloud of them to do the work and sort of spread it out? Or would you just simply need one tiny little machine? Oh, okay. In my calculations, what, I, what I've done is uh, the initial, I took just a you know, very, very na natural number of, uh, of initial number of self-replicators, -replica about 100, let's say. And finally, the number of replicators at the end of, 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 a, of col col colonizing, I call it colon colonization, but it's, it's probably more, I think it's, it's exploration, it's not co colonization. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and at the end of this colonization, the number should be approximately 10 to the 34, 40, or even 50, which is, you know, a huge number. And therefore, we can consider it as to be kind of clout of uh, self-replicators.